Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to be setting up a Mac to stream on Twitch. Using a Mac as a streaming computer is pretty simple, assuming that your Mac's hardware can keep up with the task. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a 2018 13-inch MacBook Pro with an Intel i7 and 16GB of RAM. I can't guarantee if the settings that I use in this video will work with the newer M1 Macs, so please keep that in mind. And also please note that this is the settings that I use for my Mac. Um, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of other settings that I haven't explored that works just as well, if not better. But this is what I find works, uh, works best for me. And it's also important to note, since we're using the Mac as a streaming computer, we won't be playing games directly on it. Instead, we'll be playing games through either a gaming computer or a console. And in this case, I'm going to be using my Xbox Series S. And the things you'll need for this is a USB capture card, a USB dongle that you can connect to your Mac, and any necessary peripherals like your microphone and your webcam and once you have all those items uh then we can begin downloading obs on our macs and you can download obs straight from their site um you can even google obs studio and it should take you directly there and since we want to use the mac uh, version of this will click on the Apple logo and if you are a Streamlabs user um, I don't know whether or not Streamlab OBS works well with Macs but uh, through my experience of using Streamlabs on PC it it uses a lot more uh, CPU resources so I would avoid using Streamlabs OBS and instead rather use uh, OBS Studio because it's less uh, CPU extensive. And once we get OBS installed on our Macs, the next thing we have to do is configure the settings. So we open up OBS and click on settings. And we click on the stream section. And since we're going to use Twitch, uh, we are going to use we're going to select Twitch as our service setting. And for the server, you can keep it at auto. But if you live close to a server, then I would manually click that instead. The stream key you can get by clicking this button. It will redirect you to Twitch where it will contain your stream key. All you have to do is copy and paste it on here. The next thing we want to do is configure our output settings. So we're going to click on the output tab. And for the output mode, we're going to set it to advanced. And for the encoder, we will set it to Apple VT H264 hardware encoder. This encoder will allow us the most headroom when it comes to CPU usage. It is important to know that this uses variable bitrate or VBR for short rather than the constant bitrate CBR which Twitch recommends you to use so if you are experiencing issues this would be the likely culprit the bitrate I set to 6000 kilobits per second uh, this is Twitch's recommended bitrate if your internet upload speed isn't as strong then I would recommend you using a bitrate that your internet can accommodate. And I limit the bitrate to 8,000 kilobits. There's no particular reason why I chose this as the limit. Uh, you can set this limit to whatever you want it to be, just as long as your internet can handle it. Now, if Apple VTH264 hardware encoder is giving you issues, then you need to set the encoder to X264. This encoder, unfortunately, uses a lot of CPU power. So this is where you might see your Mac struggle. So for the rate control, we want to select CBR. And again, set the bit rate to 6,000 kilobits or whatever your internet connection will allow. 
for the CPU usage preset, I would set it to ultra fast. This is to prevent CPU overloading. And if your Mac has a pretty powerful CPU, then you can try to experiment with the other options as it offers better quality. This is because the slower you go, the better the quality will be and the more your CPU will be utilized. So you, so you want to choose the setting that will prevent your CPU from overloading at all. The other parameters in this tab we won't mess with. Moving on to the audio settings, we will not be doing much here. Um, actually, we'll just set this to default because we won't be using any of, we won't be messing with any of the settings here. Now for the video section, uh, I set the base canvas to 1080p and the output resolution to 1080p. You can set the output resolution to 720p to improve your max performance. For downscale filter, I set it to by cubic. If you have a more powerful Mac, then you can try to set it to length sauce. And if you have a less powerful Mac, then you can set the downscale filter to by linear. And for my case, since I'm not downscaling my resolution, I won't see much uh, utilization of this. And now that we have our settings, we can now set up our scenes and add sources. The first thing I'm going to add is my game source. And since I'm using a capture card, I'm going to add a video source. And then I'm going to configure my capture card to get it to the settings I want. And then we're going to resize the game window so it fits the canvas. Then I'm going to add a audio source, which is the games, the games audio. So we're going to add a audio input capture and choose the capture card as the source. And if you have a mic, then you'll need to add another audio source and choose your microphone as the source. And the same thing with the webcam, uh, you'll add another video capture device and choose your webcam. Uh, resize if necessary so you're happy with how big the webcam window is and once we have our scenes uh, then you're all set to start streaming here's what our stream looks like with the settings we've selected on our Mac using Apple VT hardware encoder nice. oh oh no oh god oh god Oh, man. Yo, these people are crazy. Oh, that's a really sharp turn. Okay. Oh, no. Come on, let me get first place, please. Oh. Come on. These guys are in my way. Oh, fifth place now, okay. Let me through. Y'all slow me down. Y'all slow me down. Oh my god. There we go. Maybe, maybe. Oh, okay. That, that was not the right to go. Oh, whoa, whoa. no, oh, no, oh, no. This race is kind of hard. Come on, this this handling is not it's not it. Ooh. Oh, come! On. I'm trying to drift here. I'm damaging my car so much. I'm in first place though, so it's okay. It's okay. Oh. What do you mean to hit it that hard? Oh no, I'm such a bad driver. Oh, I guess I'm going this way. 
am I going next? Oh, here. Okay. 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 Oh, we're seeing the sides. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's so dark. Oh my god, I can't see. No. <laughs> no. It's too damn dark. I think I broke my headlights. Out of the way. I gotta I gotta race to win. Oh my god. Oh my god. This race is too hard for me. I can't do this. As you can see, the quality of the stream isn't too bad in my opinion. Uh, hopefully these settings can help you guys get started with streaming right away on your Mac. Uh, feel free to change any of the settings if you're having performance issues or if you're not happy with the quality this puts out. I know everyone has different specs, so I encourage you guys to fine tune these settings so it works best for you. That's all I have for now. And if you like content like this, I would appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Thanks for watching. Bye.